Hi, I'm Claire Halpin. I'm an artist and facilitator and welcome back to the High Lanes Gallery where today we are going to be roaming with Richie Ardelli. So this week we are going to delve into the Drada Municipal Art Collection which is housed at the High Lanes Gallery. They are minding at first there. They're minding very carefully. So today we're going to unwrap and have a look and dust off a painting by Gabrielle Ritchie-Ardelli. I want you to take a quiet moment to have a look at this artwork. What do you see? What is going on? We were looking at this painting a couple of weeks ago with Stack Allen National School and we started by looking and thinking, well, it looks like it's a view or a picture of a town. We thought it was a town because just over on the left hand side, there seems to be different buildings. You can see a church, there's a tower. And then we were looking and we could see, oh, there's a river. And maybe is that river going out to the sea? See, just over to the right hand side, the sea seems to be out there in the background. It's kind of where the river kind of goes hazy. And then we were looking at the trees and thinking they're lovely big tall trees. And maybe this is a park or maybe a park or maybe like a big garden or something at the edge of a town. And then we noticed the bridge and somebody thought, oh, that looks a little bit like the bridge, the big bridge in Drada that goes from the one side of the town to the other. And we thought, well, I wonder maybe, hang on, maybe this is Drada. So we were looking at the label and we found out that yes, this was a view of Drada and that it was done by an artist called Gabriella Ricciardelli. And we thought, by the sound of his name, he doesn't sound very Irish. But hang on, yes, it turns out he's Italian. Um, we looked at the year of the painting, and it was 1750. So this was a long, long time ago. And that may be explained, because if you look back at the park, or the garden at the front, and you can see people there, and they seem to be having a picnic and they look like, see their clothes? We thought maybe their dresses and the hat and the coat that the man seems to be wearing. And there's another two women over on the left. They might be out just out for their walk. And they seem to have, their clothes seem to be kind of old fashioned. Or maybe like we were looking when we discovered maybe this was from a couple of hundred years ago. So then we discovered that Gabriel Ricciardelli, he had come to Ireland and he had painted this view of Drogheda. He painted another one as well, but we'll look at that at another time. And if you think about it, two, over 200 years ago, he had come here. He had never been to Ireland before and he certainly had never been to Drogheda before. I've never seen the likes of it. And so in this painting, he's, it's like he's a tourist. And so he stood outside the town so that he could capture everything that was in the town. So he'd remember it because obviously he couldn't take a photo. So he was going to paint it. So we painted all the different details, all the natural landscape. So the trees, the park, the river, the sea. And he also included all the man-made um, structures, the buildings, like I said, the bridge and all the different shaped buildings. So it was like that he was mapping the landscape while he was roaming around Ireland. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take the idea of mapping in different directions. At the moment we can only go two kilometers from our home, but you can go two kilometers in different directions, which is what I've been doing. I've been wandering and discovering new things in the natural and man-made environment in a two kilometer radius from my home. Okay, so materials wise today, we're going to use some A3 or A4 white or colored paper. I'm gonna show two versions and you can choose which version you want to do. So you're gonna need a pencil, 
and color pencils and maybe some markers and our product placement of the week is an IKEA cake plate. So you're going to start by drawing a circle using the plate to draw around or you can use any big circle you can find at home. So there's our circle drawn and then you're going to fold the paper side to side and then you're going to open it back up there's my circle and then you're going to fold it top to bottom and once again open it back up and that then will give you our four quarters so you could kind of take these as being your four directions your north south east and west and then you're going to draw a picture of your house or your home at the middle so you're looking at this as being an aerial map as in it's like a bird's eye view so flying over your area looking at what you can see and you'll discover that every day when you go out for your walk you find different things and so you can add to your map and you might then decide to add color to it you'll see pretty quickly from my map here that i'm a city chick so i live in dublin city and i can add into this map and going in different directions and seeing how far I can get in my two kilometers and what I can map onto it. So there's my first quarter of my map complete. So the other option, which was with the A4 color paper, it's to do it in four quarters. So you draw your circle, a quarter of a circle onto one. This is maybe a little bit more complicated, but it just, divides up the map into four separate quarters and you could maybe work on one each day over a couple of days so there's our second quarter so it's still using the same plate and then i added in a pink and a purple one so once again you're going to put your drawing of your home at the center and then you can then cut this out so you're actually starting with four quadrants of a circle and these are all your two kilometer radiuses from the center of your house or from your home and here's my map going the opposite direction so for this map i went the other direction down the canal and i went as far as the liffey and i discovered that that's where the canal joins the liffey so all of your maps are going to be different. They're going to show very different things to mine and yours might be in the countryside. Yours might be in the beside the sea. So your landmarks could be sand dunes, could be rock pools, could be rivers, could be old houses, new houses. Maybe have a chat with your parents about what used to be in the area. Have things changed maybe they want to mark in old buildings or maybe they want to mark in some new things or things that have changed so we'd look with your maps and we look forward to seeing the range of maps from all over the country that you create please send them back to us at the highlands where we will be creating an online gallery as part of the highlands online content